Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. So today we are going to be finally encompassing the fall season. I am so excited. But this is basically just going to be like a fall day in my life. I've been really enjoying watching these videos a lot lately. Specifically, Allison Bickerstaff's fall content is just chef's kiss. Even though she's a Floridian, she really helps me like get into the fall mood and I live in New York so it really should not be that hard for me but I think for whatever reason I just really like to hang on to summer even though fall is my favorite season. I just get really cold very easily and so I think that I know in the back of my mind that with fall comes colder temperatures. Anyway though, fall is truly probably my favorite season of all time. I got married in the fall three years ago so when October comes around it is my anniversary month. Not to mention in all of the beautiful colors like how could you be mad at that I love looking at the fall colors with you know a nice cup of coffee and a nice sweater it's really just a vibe and don't even get me started about Halloween that is literally my favorite holiday for sure. So yeah, all in all, I'm just really excited for the fall season. I even did my makeup today to represent the fall vibes. I don't know what it is, but I normally don't wear eyeshadow at all. I feel like I just think I have smaller eyes, even though whenever I put eyeshadow on, it's not like my eyes disappear. So I don't know what my problem is exactly, but I'm really excited of how the makeup turned out. I feel like it came out so cute and I did like a brown smoky eye with a brown wing. So we're going all out for fall today. I also also got some items from Urban Outfitters and also Luca and Gray. It is my first time ordering from both of those places, so I have a couple of pieces to show you guys that I got for the fall season. And then I also thought that it'd be really fun to sit down and make a fall bucket list because I love fall activities probably the most, um, second only maybe to summer activities, but Fall activities are just so fun and it's actually bearable to be outside at least for the first like two months or so of the fall season. And then later today, and honestly like an hour, um, I'm going to be apple picking with some friends. I'm so excited for that because I'm also going to be taking a Instagram photo. So without further ado, let's go show you guys this little cozy try on haul. Really quick before I get into the haul, I just wanted to show you what I am wearing today because I am obsessed with these slippers that I got on Amazon. They are just so cozy and cute. I have never owned like actual slippers before I know that that probably sounds insane but I'm so excited to have been able to join the slipper club because I feel the coziest that I've ever felt in my life. So I'm going to be starting off with what I got from Luca and Gray. This is my first time ordering from Luca and Gray and I've been really wanting to do that for such a long time but every time I try to go to their website and order something my size is always sold out. I am a size small medium so I can kind of go either way for most things but for example this is actually a small and it's definitely a little bit oversized in my personal opinion. I really really love this though. It's just a really really nice pink cardigan. I feel like it's pulling a little bit more tan on camera, but it's definitely like a really, really light pink, which is going to be so nice for these chillier mornings that are starting to happen. So the last thing that I picked up from Luca and Gray is just this really adorable t-shirt that says Rebel Rebel. I feel like you can't really see it that well in this lighting, but it is so freaking adorable. And it's definitely a little bit like more oversized, which I personally really like. In my opinion, I love oversized t-shirts or just like longer t-shirts in general because I really feel like it gives you more options. You can always tie it up in the front or the back if you really want that cropped look or if you're not really into that you can definitely always tuck this into your jeans or into a skirt or something like that and it still gives like a really cohesive really nice look to it. It's definitely more of a casual t-shirt and it also has these really fun rips. Yeah it's just like a super distressed kind of collar which I really like because I don't actually own anything like this in my wardrobe. Um, in terms of like t-shirt. It's also a really thin t-shirt material which I personally love because again it's just so much comfier and really really nice. So 100% 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay next up is Urban Outfitters and I have never been more excited to wear a cardigan than right now. This is such a fun and unique piece. I'm so excited to own it in my closet. I actually saw this piece last year I believe when Autumn Rain wore something very similar but I think hers had 
a different color sleeve. I don't think hers was pink. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. But yeah, I just think it's so fun and it's so perfect for the fall season. I can definitely see myself wearing this, you know, to just be cozy around the house or, you know, on a really fun little fall activity day. So super excited about this cardigan. Okay, last but certainly not least from Urban Outfitters is just this really cute t-shirt dress. I'm obsessed with anything that has the moon and flowers on it and this has both so this is very much right up my alley. I've just been loving the look of oversized shirts or oversized dresses with a pair of combat boots so I feel like that's going to come back in the fall and this would even look really nice with some black tights underneath with those combat boots so super excited to wear this and definitely a huge fan. Okay so I'm pretty sure 90% sure that this is what I'm going to be wearing to the apple orchard. I originally had a different dress picked out, but for the photo that I want to do with it, I think this fabric will be much more forgiving. I think you'll see what I mean when I'm doing the actual photo, but I kind of need my skirt to be able to be pulled um, to the front of the camera, and unfortunately that skirt I have, it, it's not going to go anywhere because my butt is in the way. So I think something like this is just much more practical for a photo idea like that, but I might try out a couple different things as well instead. So we'll see. I don't know if I'm completely sold on this outfit just yet. I will keep you updated with what that will be. So I am sitting down right now and I'm just trying to look through some little ideas for like fall bucket lists. So I'm just going to get writing right now and then we'll see what I come up with and I will let you know and fill you guys in. So I have gone ahead and created my fall bucket list ideas. So it's a pretty <laughs> ugly list. I literally just used uh, like a pencil, but you know, that's what I had. I didn't have any like aesthetic markers or anything, but that's okay. So here are my ideas. We have apple picking, make apple crisp with apples from an orchard, go through a corn maze, visit a pumpkin patch and pick out your favorite pumpkin. Make brown sugar crisp cookies. I just found a recipe for gluten-free brown sugar crisp cookies and I'm really excited to make them. I've never really heard of a lot of people making those before. Usually it's like chocolate chip or oatmeal cookies or those like little Halloween seasonal kind of cookies, but I feel like these sound really, really good. So I really wanna try those. Take a fall foliage drive while enjoying hot cider. Have a mini fall road trip which Matt and I are actually doing for our anniversary this year. We're going to the Poconos, so we're so excited for that. Carps and Pumpkins, Halloween movie marathon, go wine tasting, have a fall picnic date, do a couples photo shoot, which Matt and I are also doing as well. We are re redoing our wedding photos. So I'm going to do, pretty much put on my wedding dress and I'll probably film that. That'll probably be its own vlog. Make pumpkin spice waffles and have a bonfire with s'mores and some friends. So that is my fall bucket list ideas. I'm pretty sure I should be able to check these off the list. Obviously today I'm going to be apple picking so I'll be able to do that and cross that off the list. And also I'll be able to make some apple crisp with some apples from the orchard as well. So my friend is going to be here to pick me up in literally 30 minutes so I'm gonna go finish getting ready. Okay guys change of plans so I'm actually gonna wear this skirt which is kind of like a leopard cheetah print skirt in like a mauve color with this sweater top. I just feel a lot more comfortable in this and I feel like it kind of goes better than the orange dress with the sweater on top. So I think this is going to be the vibe. I'm also going to pop on my tan hat as well just to kind of complete the outfit and I'm still not sure if I'm going to wear my slides or if I'm going to wear like some white sneakers or something of that sort. But yeah this is pretty much the overall vibe so I will see you guys when my friend pick me up so we are here there's a lot going on right now we came during like a festival weekend so there's just like a lot of people and a lot of like crowds and stuff so right now we're just hanging out in the dog park area and waiting for Matt because he had to work do you want to say hi to the vlog oh oh hi <laughs> John's over there there he is he's right there hi hi 
Did you have the best time? Okay, hi guys, it's really loud, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me, but I just wanna let you know that we are about to sit down and have some food. Hopefully, there's some gluten-free things. Um, and then we are about to go take some pictures at these, this like cornfield maze thing that's like right behind me, actually. You can probably see it right there. Yeah, just bring the skirt in a little closer, yeah. Okay, you guys, so we are back in the car. Um, I have a little bit of a rant for you guys because unfortunately we weren't able to pick apples. We first um, were thinking about coming. We actually bought tickets online for like $20 a person. The ticket actually said when you bought it that the um, orchard would be open until 8 p.m. So we bought tickets for like two to eight, thinking that we would be able to pick apples until 8 p.m. because you know. Um, on the website, it didn't say anything about the orchard closing early or anything like that. So we actually were told by a security guard that we had to have like special wristbands if we wanted to pick apples past 6 p.m. Even though when he told us this, it was like 5.45 p.m. We kind of like argued with him a little bit back and forth because if we're gonna pay $20 a person to get into an event, so that means Matt and I paid about $40 to get in and now we can't pick apples, it's kind of like ridiculous. Not to mention all of the lines were like so freaking long um, because of, I'm assuming like all the regulations that are going on right now but it takes like an hour to wait in any line so like why would you sell tickets that are good from like four to eight you know what i mean we're kind of frustrated but i think maybe like during this week or like next week i might see if like a friend wants to come with me to an orchard and just pick a couple apples really quick but that is going to be it for today's vlog i still had a really fun time with my friends i think matt did too <laughs> he worked today so he's a little bit like huh, groggy you know so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog definitely make sure that you hit subscribe and click the bell icon so that you never miss an upload also be sure to follow me on instagram because i respond to every single comment over there i will see you guys in my next vlog bye oh my god <laughs>